me i needed the girl mm -hmm. as you can know i said okay i needed the girl so that i can add that to my hair care routine and whatever whatever my show my videos <laughs> came back home and i told my my children do you know that my son was so happy but my daughter cried <laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my channel okay i missed you all so this is nature secrets with sally yeah i've been away for like a month right now okay i've not been doing videos as regular as every week yeah because i just delivered of a bouncing baby boy <laughs> So I've been away taking care of myself, healing and taking care of my baby. Yeah. So I missed you guys. I miss you guys. He, I'm finally back. Mm -hmm. Let's be doing it small, small as we go. So you get my video once every week. Okay. For now, let's do once, not twice. So we can take care of other things because you know, we have baby to care for. I'm doing this now because he's sleeping. If he's not sleeping, I should be attending to him. So I'm happy to be back. <laughs> okay, so today, maybe today I'm going to gist us. I'm going to do a story. I'm going to tell you my story, my pregnancy journey story. Okay, let me just do it at once. So maybe next one we can now do other things and continue with our DIYs. Okay. By the way, how do you see my hair? I made this hair myself, I think day before yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just decided to hold it myself. Yeah, all by myself. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, this period I'm trying to um, manage my hair because I know because of the postpartum hair loss yeah i'm aware of it so i'm trying to prevent it from shedding too much it's one topic i'll try to find time to talk about yeah and how i reduce my the excess shedding yeah because i know that this period of my postpartum it's a is a crucial period that i have to be careful with my hair otherwise i'm going to get excess shedding okay it's a normal thing for a woman to shed hair to lose hair after delivery okay but you have to put some measures in place so that you don't lose hair too much okay so one of my measures is trying to minimize the hands that deals with the hair okay apart from that handle it with care avoid tight hair styles uh apply some products work on my food and the rest of them so i'm working on that to help me prevent excess shedding of hair i'll find time to create a full video of it how i did it okay all through my period yeah but most times it's around those three to four months you get to the peak of postpartum hair loss okay but i want to minimize it as much as possible that i don't thin too much okay so just follow me on this channel and i'll share a lot of things with you okay as we go through the process so um i'm going to share with us some things along the line uh -huh, that can help us okay i thought of sharing it so we can learn one or two things from it okay so um for those of you who don't know me let me share my story i have three kids now okay i had two before this one so this boy made it three so currently i have um, um two boys and one girl okay so when we had the first two my husband was okay with two five from the beginning two was fine for him i wanted three okay so we were like we we're still indecisive trying to convince him like that or so so we're just on it so i decided to if my girl is five before this child is before this one came okay so they, we've stayed we've actually stayed too long before this child because of we were like on the side of our we just okay let God's will be done it gives us another one okay fine so but my kids started putting pressure pressure 
they need a baby. Mommy, I want a baby. Mommy, I want a baby. Ah. So what I did, my other sister was actually expecting, my other sister was expecting a, a, a baby by that time. She was pregnant when they were on me. So I told her, I said, ah, we have a baby. We were expecting a baby. I just wanted to push their mind off. And I told my kids, I said, ah, we were expecting a baby. We have a baby coming. And they say which baby? I say my sister's baby now. That's our baby. <laughs> so kids, I lured and their mind went to that baby that that baby was their baby. If you see the drama. <laughs> okay, so it's an interesting show that played out. That's why I said, let me share with us. They were so interested in the baby, my sister's baby coming, that that's their baby. In fact, they told her that they are going. So when my sister put to bed, we went to see our baby. They had, they had it registered in their mind that that is their baby. In fact, when we went to see the baby, they wanted to carry the baby. They said, when we were going with the baby, I said, oh, because, because since it's their baby, they want to carry the baby to their house. <laughs> and I laughed. I said, you can't go with the baby. Oh. Baby is eating milk. So what we're going to do, we're going to allow the baby, when the baby stays up to one, one year, when she has, she's been weaned off of, of breast, we're going to come and carry the baby to our house. So they have already registered with the parents, my sister and her husband, that is their baby, when the baby is one year, they will come and carry their baby to their house. I said, okay, oh, I see they are the ones that will take care of the baby. <laughs> but I just wanted to push that, so we had that going, <laughs> and they were still like... So at some point, I saw that, I noticed that they were praying for a baby. I will tell them to lead devotion, we are having devotion prayers or so, and I will say, pray for us. The prayers my children, one of their prayer points is they started raising was, Oh Lord, give us a baby. They were like, God, give us, give my mommy a baby. Give us a baby. I said, this kind of prayers. Okay, so they started praying that once in a while they pray that prayers of give us a baby. And I said, okay, <laughs> I will just laugh over it. When I when I hear that prayers, I will just laugh and smile. Give us a baby. <laughs> they were that serious for, for, for baby, even if they knew that Anaya was coming. Maybe Anaya was my elder sister's baby girl. <laughs> but they started praying for a baby. So I left it, I let it go. One day when I went to pick my children from school, pick them up from school, we were coming back and my daughter was, was sounding so discouraged that why is it taking so much time? You know what? She was like, she started feeling that, you know, kids, kids also have, as in, we need to be careful with our kids and try to help them out so that they don't get to a point where they feel that God disappoints, God does not answer, answer prayers. So you say, ah, but mommy, we have been praying for this subject since now. We have been praying for a baby to come since now. It's been a long time now. And I laughed. I had to encourage them. I, I can't remember what, but I, I gave her an encouragement that God will surely answer your prayers. Now, with that one, in fact, at, some, at that point, I myself had to even join them and be praying the prayer. <laughs> I said, okay, oh God, oh, this should at least, so that they know that you don't, that you answer prayers. I have concord though, I don't have problem, but just for my children, just to let them know that they are, although they know already that God answers their prayers and they really know. Most times we have seen it play out, it things happen, want anything that happens, you see them pray and they see it manifesting. But they were wondering why this particular prayer was not being answered. And I say, okay, maybe it's because of your mommy and daddy's faith or, or whatever. So let me join my faith. Because I was touched with that words that girl spoke that day. While we were coming back, I was really touched and I was like, God, look at this girl. She was like, she meant it so much. Say, God, why is this prayer being delayed? How come God is not answering these prayers? I had to talk to her. She gave her some things to encourage her that sometimes God delays. He's doing it for the best. Giving at the right time, he's going to give us the baby. So I joined my faith with them at that point and I started praying with them. Say, God, <laughs> give us a baby. And God did it. So when the good news came, when the baby came, when I felt, it was even the period I lost my dad. When I lost my dad, I didn't know that I was already pregnant, okay? So I got pregnant before my father's incident because I wasn't expecting it's been five years. I've just been like that. So I didn't even know that I was. It was later when I was running around. I was in my mom's place running around. We were doing operations, prayers, and the rest of them, meetings and the rest. That I started having some kind of feelings and signs. It then dawned on me that I should go and do this. So, to cut the short, long story short, baby came. When the pregnancy came, they started arguing. This one says it's going to be boy. Another prayer point started. When they are praying, they say, Oh God, 
and let it be a girl, let it be a baby girl. Two of them at that point was praying for a girl. So later on, my son changed his mind and said he wants boy. She should say she wants girl. This one say one boy. This say one girl. And they started arguing about the whole issue. I was just looking like that. So me, I needed a girl. Mm -hmm. As you can know, I said, okay, I needed a girl so that I can add that to my hair care routine and whatever, whatever, my show, my videos. <laughs> and I said, I left it. So I was praying towards her. But along the line, there was a period where I, when I was praying, I, I was praying for this child. But I had this kind of ministration that I was praying towards a boy. My prayer was just then. I talk when I pinch myself. I said, Ah, boy, you're expecting a girl. How come your prayer was now, you're praying in line of calling him he and the rest of them or so? But I had that kind of ministration as if it's a baby boy and the rest of when I was praying for the baby. So, but I just wanted, because I wanted my own bill, I wanted the baby girl. I just let it go. <laughs> Then when I went to for my scan during the process, the period of the scan told me that it was a baby boy. I came home and you know that because of my children, I was carrying them all throughout my pregnancy. Yeah, it was a very wonderful experience I did. Should I say this was the best pregnancy I had because at this point I had two people that I could talk to. They were like, as in, apart from my husband, my children were like my friends. I could tell them, I was talking to them with the app. I, ah, Look at the app so they knew the app the pregnancy app i was using they knew my weeks okay today we're how many weeks old yeah we were, we were that was we were that i was carrying them through the pregnancy today we're 20 weeks old look at what look at the pregnancy stage look at this or so even with the app yeah but so when i came back from the visit from the that it was a baby boy even me myself i was like oh God, God. <laughs> but I had to accept a child is a child. No matter what you have, you don't beat yourself over a child. A child is a child. God knows why he's giving you the gift, so you just have to accept the child. Okay, so I came back home and I told my, my children. I said, children, the baby in here is a baby boy. Do you know that? My son was so happy, but my daughter cried. <laughs> Joanna literally cried. I was like, hey, I had to console her. I had to encourage her. I had to put in her to get her to know because that was the reason why I told her of before the delivery. So that when the baby comes, it will not, it will not, she will not find it strange again. So they knew the sex of the baby before the baby arrived. So when the baby arrived, we've already passed that stage. So she was already prepared as a person. I had to let her know that it's her baby, she has to take care of the baby, she has to take care of her baby brother, she has to bring him up. So I've already induced that in her because she was all each time she would come and say, hey, if I, the, baby, the baby is her baby. That big baby Joshua is Joanna's baby. <laughs> each time during the prayer of prayer, she'll come, she'll kiss the tummy, she'll say, Oh baby, how are you? She talks to the baby, she'll say, hey, Mommy, I can't wait for the baby to come out. I can't wait for the baby to come out. So I taught her to know that it's her baby and that she doesn't need to worry. God knows why it's giving her a baby brother to take care of. So we're going to, she's going to take care of the baby. Okay, so lessons to learn. Children are reasonable. Yeah. They are you might think that they don't know anything, they know. So and as they keep working with God, as you keep training them in the way of God, understand with them. Let them air out their views and try to correct them when necessary. Just at that point when my daughter was like, Oh, mommy, why is God wasting time? I it touched me and I that I had to teach her that you don't you don't feel that God is wasting time. God knows why he's doing it and why it's taking him this long. He wants to do it for our own good. So they understand. Once you start imbibing this, they keep they understand and they follow you through. Yeah. We teach them how to pray, how to read their Bible when they wake up in the morning, how to have their personal quiet time. So they know these things. So you bring them up in the fear of the Lord and you carry them along and they follow you through. Okay? So that's my experience with Joanna and her brother, Jonathan. Okay, they are the J's. They are the J family. Jonathan, Joanna, and Joshua. Okay, so the three J's. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so that you get alert when i bring new videos 
stay tuned to this channel i'll be bringing several videos i'm bringing so many videos a lot more some on children products diys how i make make my baby products and the rest of them postpartum hair care a lot is coming to you so stay glued to us in this channel thank you very much see you in my next video bye bye